following security camera video was uploaded to YouTube in September of 2018 by a user named Jay Breezy and showcases the inside of some sort of building that requires a nighttime security guard to keep watch. And in the case of this video, Jay is the guard. In the video, we see Jay sitting down in his chair, passing the time, when all of a sudden something strange captures his attention for the remainder of the video. Take a look at the bizarre footage. Muff decided to show herself again. See it? See it? It's faint though. I looked at it like, okay. I'm like, okay. So I hesitated, so I just threw the some threw something because I didn't know what to do. You know. But that time it came from over my head though, for some reason. I don't know. But I was like, you know what? I'm see I'm over there just talking shit now, like why is always me and stuff. So it is what it is. It showed up to me twice already. Out of the corner of Jay's eye, he can see a creepy ghostly apparition walk around the area, which can also be seen on camera if you look just close enough. Afterwards, he proceeds to throw what looks to be a rolled up newspaper at the entity before eventually talking to himself in the corner. At the end of the video, we can see him saying a prayer before going back to work finally feeling a little comfortable knowing that the spirit is now gone. Let's just hope that, from here on out, Jay can go back to working in peace and not have to worry about being paid a visit from an entity from another dimension. Most of the time on the paranormal community section on YouTube, you will more often than not see videos of people exploring various different abandoned buildings, local to their area, whether it be a school, a church, a hospital, or even sometimes large mansions. These are typically the kinds of places that I explored on YouTube, but in one video uploaded to Urbex Hills YouTube channel, the channel owner Chris actually explores an entirely abandoned neighborhood, which is sure to cover you with goosebumps. Throughout the nearly hour long video, Chris walks us through the neighborhood, which feels like something ripped straight out of The Walking Dead or The Last of Us just because of how desolate and eerily quiet it is in the area. The neighborhood became abandoned in the 1990s after a terrible fire ravaged through and destroyed nearly every apartment building. For a while during Chris's investigation, nothing outright creepy happens, but that all changes when Chris decides to explore one of the charred buildings. Take a look at this. This door closing seemingly all by itself is just the first sign that this area is not just abandoned, but possibly haunted too. If any skeptics out there need more proof, then take a look at this shot right here and pay close attention to this part before the green slats can be seen. Did you see it? If not, I urge you to take a closer look, as you should be able to make out what appears to be some sort of creepy looking ghost girl. Then, about 30 seconds later, something else that is very creepy can be seen. Watch this.
A terrifying ghostly face can be seen appearing on the glass of the window, on the ground to the right-hand corner of the screen. The video goes on for a few minutes longer before Chris ultimately decides to pack his things and head home. This investigation is just proof that haunted and abandoned places can be anywhere. Even the most unexpected of places, like an entire neighborhood. The following video published by TikTok user Arma Kate Haunting seems relatively cute and wholesome to start with. We watch as an adorable dog can be seen simply wandering around his owner's house enjoying the daily life of being man's best friend. However innocent this video may seem on the surface though, it's about to show itself as a legitimately terrifying piece of footage. The man can be heard talking to his dog directly in front of him before it goes to sit in front of a door. Nobody could have expected what would happen next. Where's your boy? What's up? Whoa! Whoa! A very large speaker can be seen unexpectedly fall to the ground, just mere inches away from hitting the unsuspecting dog, who luckily managed to get out of the way just in time before he could have gotten hurt. By rewinding the footage numerous times, it is crystal clear that the speaker should not have fallen the way it did. It wasn't too close to the edge of the shelf it was sitting on, and there was not any window open behind it or anything that would have allowed for it to tumble to the ground. Because of this, many viewers are convinced that there was a vicious spirit in the room that day that was attempting to seriously harm the dog seen in this video. If it were to be faked, then it would have to be done with some sort of string attached to the speaker. Thankfully, we can all collectively exhale, knowing that this unsuspecting dog is doing okay. Bailey the Bailey runs a TikTok account known as Theatre of the Absurd that focuses on his life adventures and also his experiences with being a caretaker at a theater, hence the title of his account. In the video, Bailey takes his camera out to the main stage of the theater and seems to be confident that he is going to be able to capture something of interest on camera. Sure enough, he did. As a matter of fact, what he saw that day scared him so much that he says he is contemplating quitting his job. After seeing the clip, I can't say that I blame him. Look at this scary piece of footage. What's up y'all, as always, if the sensor gets tripped, I film it, just in case we see anything. So here we go. It's uh, 9 p.m. on a Saturday. This is my life. So I'm walking through the main stage. <clears throat> here, I'll flip it. Ghost light is on. No one in here. Hello. Okay. Although it can only be seen for a couple of seconds, if you look at the top balcony, you can see what appears to be two ghosts standing there while Bailey films from a distance. Of course, this could have been a setup and these could just be two of Bailey's friends, but the video has an unmistakably realistic and eerie feeling to it that you just can't shake. There's also no over-the-top fake screaming or panicking noises here either. In fact, when Bailey does point the camera up to the balcony, he doesn't say a word. Perhaps because he's too shocked at what he's looking at to even make a noise. So is this authentic footage of ghosts caught in a theater? Let me know your opinion in the comments. Another entry from the Sir Spook subreddit. This one comes to us from the user Freight Train 2323. The uploader goes on to explain that he and a friend went out to explore an abandoned prison, but while he was there, something happened that creeped him out. 
At one point in the video, the man recording gets to the top of a flight of stairs, when out of nowhere, a bizarre voice can be heard coming from somewhere within the prison. See if you can hear it. Both the man filming and the girl he is with freeze in place whenever they hear this, understandably. It could have just been other explorers, but that is unlikely. If there were others there, the uploader would have more than likely stated this somewhere in the title of the clip. What is also notable is that the uploader says that this was just one of the many disembodied voices they heard while exploring. So who knows what other creepy noises they heard that day. Reddit user Raslan Hafiz 97 shared the following piece of footage to the ghost subreddit that shows him simply walking down the street late at night in the city. What initially started off as a peaceful nightly walk quickly turned into something quite strange, as you will soon see. Take a look at what he captured that night. It's unmistakable that something was walking across from Raslan, but he's not entirely sure exactly what it is, and neither am I. By all accounts, it looks like it could be some sort of ghostly figure taking a nightly stroll before vanishing without a trace. Raslan points out that the figure could possibly be somebody walking around in the middle of the night with a white blanket over their head. But that may actually be more bizarre than an actual ghost. So what do you think this figure is, and what is it doing out so late at night? Let me know your theories in the comments below. The following video was posted by a YouTuber named Mr. Spouter in January of 2017 and seems to showcase the uploader simply sitting on his bed, and it's clear right away that something eerie has caught his attention. After a couple of seconds, the man recording says that he's hearing some strange sounds coming from down the stairs, but says he wants to be able to capture it for his subscribers to hear. Then Mr. Spouter does something that most people would definitely be way too scared to do. He opens the door and proceeds to investigate the area. For the first couple of seconds, it doesn't seem as though the uploader is able to capture anything of interest, until you take a close look at something that appears across the hall. <sighs> Man, banging again. It's like something on the stairs. You can't hear it though. I can. Yeah. It's weird. It's not next door. It? It's like. What the f There might be pipes in flyboard. So every time I look there's nothing there though. Like Did you see it? What appears to be some sort of mysterious hooded apparition is seemingly looming in the hallway, but it seems as though Mr. Spouter did not notice this at the time, because he doesn't have any sort of reaction upon filming the entity. In the comment section of this video, he says that four years later, 
He still has no idea what this creepy figure was, and what the strange sounds he was hearing in his house were. Either way though, it sounds like Mr. Spouter is doing okay for the most part. Let's hope that doesn't change. This next video comes to us from my very own subreddit, Sir Spooks, where I encourage you to submit any paranormal related or creepy videos you have that you want me to take a look at. By submitting, you may have a chance to be featured on a video just like this one. This entry was submitted on the Reddit thread by user Random Matt and is titled Strange Man Stare at My House. In the short video, we view what appears to be security camera footage set up around the uploader's house. As the video progresses, we see two men walking down the street but stop to admire the uploader's house for a prolonged period of time, seemingly without any real reason or purpose. Weirdos. <laughs> oh, dearie me. In the comment section of the video, some people have various opinions as to what happened here. One commenter points out that at first, nothing looked too out of the ordinary and says that it looked like one of the men dropped something and was trying to pick it up, but admits afterwards that once the two stared at the house, that it was certainly creepy. Another commenter shows concern that the two men were casing the house, trying to get a better understanding of the security systems and planning to break in. It is quite understandable that Matt was creeped out by this and that he posted it on my subreddit to hear other people's opinions. It may have just been nothing, but who really knows? It seems as if Matt still doesn't have an answer as to what happened that day, but we certainly hope he figures out soon enough. For a lot of people, hospitals are one of the creepiest places on earth, especially when they are ones that are supposedly haunted or abandoned. There's something about being in a place that is being used to take care of sick people that gives people the chills and makes them never want to step foot in there, even if they are not ill. This video uploaded by a Swedish YouTuber seemingly depicts two people walking around an abandoned hospital in the area. Throughout the video, they are talking in Swedish, so it is hard to decipher what they are saying. All seems normal for the first little bit of the video, until this. Det var hit de gick i filmen. Så här jävla stor tror jag inte det var inne. Kolla åt det hållet. Alla lys hitåt. Det var hit de gick väl? Det här är denna. Okay. 
A brief, albeit bone-chilling scream comes from somewhere within the hospital, which causes the two friends to scurry off immediately and end the video there. This is definitely something that would scare most of us, I would imagine. I suppose it could have just been a friend of theirs helping them make a creepy video, or perhaps it truly was the eerie scream of a ghost. A user by the name of MacHawkthon shared the following clip over to my Sir Spooks subreddit, where I encourage you to share any scary videos you may have for a chance to be featured on videos like these. The title of this particular video reads, Wait till the end, does anyone know where this is? At the start, all seems perfectly normal as we watch a man braiding a woman's hair as she sits down and relaxes. We then see a group of people gathering around a campfire having a good time. However, it doesn't take too long for things to take a dark turn. One of the men is outside calling out the name Alexis, when immediately after, you can hear a woman screaming in the distance. Eventually, the man recording the incident gets to a tree and sees a lanky figure seemingly just sitting there, when all of a sudden, something terrifying happens. Take a look. Oh, oh my. What? Did you hear something? Wait, what? Alexis? Alexis? Shit. Alexis? Alexis? Shit. Alexis? Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Okay, be careful. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Okay. Seeing as how the title of the video is asking, does anybody know where this is, it is safe to assume that there's never been an explanation posted anywhere online for this creepy video. Who knows what could have happened to this group of people, if we are to presume this wasn't a hoax. This next entry comes to us from YouTube channel Ivan and was published on January 29th, 2018, with the title being straight to the point, I think my apartment is haunted. Throughout the video, we can hear the woman breathing quite heavily as she records a section of her apartment and sounds completely realistic. After a few seconds, we hear a noise that sounds like something is being pulled. In the background, a cupboard is opened and something falls out. Take a look. What do you think could have caused this? The thing that gives this clip a lot of authenticity is the woman's frightened and panicked sounds. They sound pretty realistic and in the moment. In May of 2012, a man filmed in the woods behind his house for 5 minutes because there was an energy there, which I suppose means that he wanted to capture ghosts on camera. He had seen a ghost girl in this area several times, but had never filmed her. Luckily for him, he managed to catch her on camera this time around. Take a look at the video and make sure to look at the left side of the video.
let's take another look in hands. He claims that the camera failed right after the ghost sighting, which of course seems suspicious. But if he were to hoax it, why would he then cut the video right after the alleged ghost appears? He could have just kept filming after the sighting. That could be a reason why it's real. And that and the fact that it's a very compelling piece of footage that would be hard to fake. Firstly, the ghost girl appears behind the tree. Secondly, the camera is moving, which would also make this a lot harder to hoax. Whatever you think, I found this one to be quite eerie. Who knows what happened to this girl, since she still wanders the woods. The paranormal investigative YouTube channel The Urban Project is back again with yet another creepy video. A video published by the crew on February 29th, 2020, sees them exploring the Brocklehurst Mill, located in England. For a large portion of the video, we can see the crew interacting with one another as they make efforts to capture something on camera, and at about the 20 minute mark, creepy things start to happen. At one point in the video, one of the men using a device begins to hear strange sounds radiating from it. Have a listen. Gone. He's gone. Tom. Who's Tom? Bye. Get out. Mate, that's good. That's just me, that just fell off the side. Mate. If that wasn't scary enough, several minutes later, while trying to communicate with the spirit, this happens. Sally, are you happy that we're here? Yeah. Oh, fucking hell, Mox! Get out. Mox. Okay, goodbye. Mox, just, just get out of the living room a bit, we just get out of here, mate. Still to this day, nobody is sure what spirits lurk within the mansion, but one thing is for sure, whatever was captured on camera this day was definitely creepy. Reddit is an extremely vast space on the internet, and you're almost always going to find some strange, unsettling, and oftentimes downright terrifying things, if you look hard enough. After all, there are many thousands of subreddits out there, meaning that there are most certainly a plethora of ones that are specifically designed to frighten you. One of these is undoubtedly Cursed Videos, which is pretty much exactly how it sounds. It's a subreddit dedicated to showcasing videos that are allegedly cursed. This video, published to the subreddit by user Camelina02, was filmed in what is presumably the uploader's bedroom. He starts off by showing a floor vent, which is pretty common in many households, but it's what's inside that is genuinely terrifying. Take a look. At first, the vent looks to be completely empty, but then, just a few seconds later, a mysterious creature appears out of nowhere and seems to twist its head, which audibly freaks out the uploader. Because the video is so short, it's not clear exactly what happened directly following the recording of this footage, but let's just hope that he called in somebody to come in and take a look, and hopefully, it isn't anything sinister. A gym is a place where millions of people go to from all around the world in order to lift weights and exercise in order to get into shape and gain some muscle. There's probably one in your local area and you may have gone to it yourself in the past or currently go. Gyms are probably one of the last places you'd expect to be haunted, but you'd be wrong. In this video published to my search book subreddit by user Chaos Magic. We see security camera footage at a local gym, which shows a man walking around the gym, warming himself up before he exercises. 
Take a look at the background here and see if you notice anything. Bueno, ahí me está echando alcohol. Es que pasaron cosas muy extrañas, la madre. Hasta ¿Y una qué le pasó, papi? Hasta una máquina se movió. Vea, mira, explíqueme eso. Sí, vea, eso dos cuerdas se y. Mueve atrás. Yo qué vas a ver, mami, la otra quieta. O sea, no podemos decir que es el aire, ni que hay ventilación, ni nada de esas sí, vainas. Eso es como y en plena luz del día, ¿quién dice que estas maricadas pasan en plena luz del día? No, mire. La luz. Fue fruta, fue fruta. Mira, mira. If that wasn't creepy enough, the following events are utterly terrifying, and if proven to be real, then it's truly nightmare fuel. Take a look at what happens to the man next. Y de esto hay una segunda toma, ahorita le, le muestro la segunda toma, y hay cosas que no se ven en la primera. Échale ojo, ahí, mira eso, mira eso. Uy, ¿eso qué pasó? ¿Por qué eso se esa, mueve? Esa vaina es pesadísima, eso es pesadísimo. ¿Sí? Sí, es, parece que eso es una energía muy mala. ¡Ay, Dios mío! ¿Qué le pasó? ¡Mamá! ¡Mire! ¡No, Dios! ¡No, mi no. Que, no eso no es normal! Sí, yo sé ¡Eso que... no es normal! Sí, ¡No! ¡No, no tiene que ir! ¡No, eso no es normal! ¡Hay que ir a un sí, no. alguien algo. ¿Algún profesional que esté viendo este video o alguien que sepa el tema, por favor, dejarlo en los comentarios o... Or no sé, alguien que nos pueda decir qué pasó. Sadly, this video seems to be shrouded in quite a bit of mystery, so it's hard to say exactly what happened after the events of this video and where exactly this gym is located. But that doesn't make it any less chilling to see a man get attacked by an unseen presence at a typical gym that you'd go to in your hometown. Next time you go to yours, I would be extra careful if I were you. The first video that we'll be looking at today was published in the wildly popular UFO subreddit by username strangetell8508, who is seemingly convinced that he managed to capture video evidence of aliens existing. The footage in question was shot in Fairbanks, Alaska at 3 in the morning. Throughout the course of the video, we watch as the uploader pans the camera across the starry night sky, where all looks good and fine. However, that doesn't last for too long. At around the one minute mark, something fascinating happens. Take a look. There was another one before I saw this. It went straight down to the ground over there, so I don't know. Wow. Oh, oh, there it is. What the heck is that? Strangely, the light-like object in the sky begins to split into two parts, which shocks the uploader, audibly expressing just how fascinating and eerie the incident is. About a minute or so later, the exact same thing happens once more, causing more shock and awe to set in. Whoa! Eventually, this strange light phenomena leaves the area, leaving the uploader and us, the viewer, to wonder what in the world was captured in the footage. Was this a strange UFO floating around Fairbanks, Alaska? Was this something easily explainable that we're all missing? Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. The following video was published to TikTok in March of 2022 by username MrFender76. In the footage, we see the uploader wander around through a forest during the middle of the night, where he is surrounded by nothing but pure darkness. He starts to talk to the camera and demonstrates just how bright his brand new flashlight is and calls it amazing, implying that he is about to go explore the forest even deeper. A moment later, he picks his camera back up off the ground, but at this point, things have already gotten terrifying. Take a close look. Look how friggin' bright that is. This is amazing. Yeah, so these. If you missed it, I don't blame you. A creepy arm can be seen wrapped around a tree on the right hand side of the screen farther back, but it pulls away as soon as the lights turn on. Do you see it now? 
Understandably, this video has creeped out many who have seen it, and it seems as if nobody can come up with a concrete explanation as to what this could have been. The arm appears to be long and lanky, causing some to speculate that this could belong to that of a humanoid creature, which definitely seems likely. However, it is also possible that this was just a hoax. Whatever the case may be, there's no denying that this would be one of the last things you would want to see in the forest late at night. A YouTuber by the name of Red Wolf Rave uploaded a video back in 2015 where he and his son go for a nature walk through their local forest, simply trying to enjoy their day and take in the fresh air around them. About 30 seconds into the video, Rafe is seen having fun stumping on a chunk of ice while the dad proceeds to take in his surroundings and pan the camera around the woods. It's at this moment where the dad's tone of voice changes from happy and playful to worried and freaked out. He thinks he sees something strange off in the distance and proceeds to tell Rafe to get behind him for safety. Take a look at the chilling footage that was captured from this point onward. Come on, man, let's do a nature walk. Right. Woohoo! Do I get it? Yeah. Let's do a nature walk. Come on, let's go. Right. I stop Rafe. Oh. Wait, wait, Rafe. Shh. What is that? Shh. What is it? Hey, get over here. Get over here, Rafe. What is that? What is that? Stay behind me. What, what is that? Are you kidding me? All right, let's go, 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 What is it? Is it following us? Stay right there. Whoa. Go, 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 go! At first, it sounds as if a dog is growling menacingly off in the distance, but at the end of the clip, when the figure in question makes an appearance, it looks a little different from that of a dog, begging the question, what exactly is this creature? Was it just a fun little hoax that Rave created with his dad and some other person in a costume? Or is some unknown creature lurking in these woods? Sometimes creepy videos that are long can pack quite a punch because you get to experience the horror for a prolonged period of time with the uploader. But also, occasionally shorter videos that are straight to the point can pack an even bigger punch and give you the chills. This video uploaded to YouTube by Snake Lavery in July of 2019 is only 10 seconds in length, but it's sure to leave you feeling uncomfortable. Snake seems to be at some sort of parking lot in the middle of the night when he spots something not too far away from him that chills him to the bone. Wanting to capture it on camera, he pulled out his cell phone and documented his findings. Take a look. What could this figure possibly be, and what does it want? Snake himself believes that this could be a skinwalker, which certainly wouldn't be too far-fetched, considering its tall, lanky appearance, but of course, that is entirely up to interpretation. Sadly, Snake did not provide any context in the description of the video, making the clip that much more mysterious. He has uploaded since this video publishing date, confirming that he was okay and nothing of harm happened to him that night, but it doesn't make his findings any less frightening. Over on TikTok, a woman named Tasha D posted a video explaining that every single morning, 
A couple of cooking books are scattered around her floor, which always leaves her confused because she obviously didn't leave them there. She then says that she plans to set up a camera in the kitchen overnight to potentially catch whatever is causing these books to fall to the ground every night. She says it may just be a rodent, but wants to film just to double check. As you can probably expect, it's not rodents. At first, the video seems to be quite normal as we watch overnight footage from Tasha's kitchen, but at 1am, something truly freaky happens that confirms that Tasha's fears are not unfounded. Take a look. Sure enough, just as Tasha said, the books fell over as depicted in the video. And what's equally interesting is that two hours later at 3am, these books slide themselves to the floor. So what could possibly be causing this to happen? It seems as if we may never know the answer for certain. Another video on the cursed video subreddit. This one was uploaded two months ago and was filmed in what appears to be some sort of bizarre basement-like area as the videographer is shrouded in complete and utter darkness. If that wasn't creepy enough, the area that he's standing in certainly is. Everything appears to have seen significantly better days. As he pans the camera around himself, he suddenly notices something that absolutely petrifies him. A mysterious ghostly woman appears out of nowhere far down the other side of the room, which causes the videographer to panic, before he can then only stare in complete shock and awe. Then, just seconds later, this bizarre entity can be seen levitating upward and passing right through the ceiling, which only causes the videographer to be even more terrified, letting out a guttural scream of sheer horror. As with almost every video that is uploaded to this subreddit, the origins of this piece of footage are left unknown. The only thing we have to judge it by is just the footage itself, no context or any other additional information. So what do you think happened here? Is this actual footage of a ghostly woman levitating and flying through a ceiling? Is this just an excellent case of brilliant visual effects? Let me know in the comments. Another video from the aforementioned ghost subreddit. This one comes to us from the user nbuggy99, who goes on to say that in this particular video, two friends and I visit a mausoleum museum in Summers, Connecticut. When we approach the fence and begin speaking, there is a scuffle from inside. Let's have a look and see what this user is describing. The friends approach a metal gate and begin to ask the potential spirits in the area if they can show themselves and ask if anybody in there would like to say something. It is right then and there in which something incredibly chilling happens to the Reddit user and his group of friends. Take a look. All right. So we're at the Kimi Mausoleum. Is anybody here? Hello? Would anyone like to say something? Can you say it? Holy shit! Dude, that was insane! Oh my god, that's not f***ing real, dude. Dude, I got- Would anyone like to say something? Can you say it? Holy shit!
It is entirely possible that some other person was in the museum that night and was trying to mess with N. Bucky 99 and his friends, but it is more than likely not the case. What would be the odds of another person at the exact same building at the exact same time at night? They are probably fairly low. And if that is what happened, it would be a big coincidence. So it begs the question, what was making that strange scuffling noise coming from behind that gate? Is it a ghost of an angry spirit seeking out revenge or trying to prey on its next victim? Is it simply another explorer trying to scare anybody else? Or is it all just a hoax? I'll let you decide. The following video was sent to me through email by a man named Chris, with this description provided. Quote, I bought my parents a ring doorbell a couple of years ago, and they've never seen anything strange on it. But this July 4th, 2020, they caught this video. My whole family was at their lake house for it. And after being on the lake and drinking beer all day, we were all asleep by midnight at the latest. Yet this was caught around 3 a.m. and no one was awake. Also, the path the figure takes is stupid and dangerous as there are decorative boulders and trees in the way. A normal person would have gone to the left of the trees, which is wide open. Don't know much about their house, but they bought it in 2014 after the previous old lady that owned it died. We've never experienced anything other than this, and I personally haven't anywhere." End quote. With this description in mind, let's take a look at the video. The thing runs for like another minute, and he never comes back, he never does anything else, whoever this... this never rings again. Is that wearing a dress or something? Again. Not like a wedding dress? Or... Wedding dress? That is creepy how it's just, it's, it's like dark a, there, like and then yeah, boom. Out of nowhere. This came from... The figure itself certainly looks spooky, and in the video you can hear the people in the background speculating whether or not the figure is wearing a dress. Judging by their freaked out reactions, this is most likely an extraordinary situation that they haven't experienced before, just like Chris told me in his email. So what do you guys think? Was this a ghost caught on camera? Was it just a random person wandering around? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Adventure Dax Explores is a smaller YouTube channel that focuses on Dax as he ventures out to a wide variety of abandoned and allegedly haunted buildings from all around the world to document his interesting and oftentimes chilling discoveries for his subscribers to see. In this video that was uploaded to his channel in October of 2021, Dax is walking through an abandoned hospital, which proves to be quite eerie as you're about to see. Dax encounters a wide variety of terrifying things throughout the night, including hearing some strange animalistic noises, a man's eerie sounding voice, and even an unsettling humming noise toward the end. Have a look and see these terrifying moments for yourself. Beaver of Ghost, November 1, 1988. Nyaramdaman ako dito. Oh! Nin. Tao dyan? Tao dyan? 
Isa to guys sa pinakahunted na lugar dito sa Pilipinas, itong Clark Abandoned Hospital. And guys, pag may nakita kayo, may narinig kayo, comment nyo na sa comment section guys. Ah, may dito. Oh, ano yan? Tao dyan? What could these strange noises be coming from? The comment section is pretty divided, with many being absolutely certain that this is the result of some paranormal entity, whereas others are not too sure about that, stating that it could either be a big setup or another person is in the building with him. But what do you think? Is this real or fake? Let me know all of your opinions in the comment section down below, as always. One thing's for sure, Dax will not want to be exploring this hospital again anytime soon. The first video for today comes to us from the user Purgatory Stories, who shared the video to the Sir Spook subreddit where you can submit any paranormal footage for a chance to be featured on a future video like this one. Filmed sometime this year at the Crybaby Tunnel in Ohio, the video sees a couple of people looking alarmed with their tensions raised as they point flashlights in various different directions, hoping to capture something on camera. It doesn't take too long for both the people in the video and us as viewers to notice what it was that caught these people's attention. Take a look. I was like, I don't know, know man. I'm here, come and touch the device in my hand. Get close to it. Oh, wow. Did you hear it? Wow. You heard it, dude? Yes. Wow. I heard that from. Being outside a tunnel that late at night and hearing a sound that clear would undoubtedly be freaky. The men in the video seem both creeped out and amazed at the same time. Understandably so. Get close to it. Oh wow! Did you hear it? Get close to it. Seeing as how the noise sounded a bit too clear. It is entirely possible that this was fake, but if it is real, it wouldn't be too much of a stretch either. After all, the place is called the Cry Baby Tunnel. This video may be proof that it's called that for a reason. On July 4th, 2010, a YouTuber named Seth Lee Thompson uploaded a creepy video with the simple title of Poltergeist Activity. The video opens up with a title card that provides a bit of context before the actual footage starts. Quote, Over the past couple of years, I have noticed increasing paranormal activity in my home. Setting up a camera this year, I finally got footage of my poltergeist. These are snips taken from hours worth of footage. End quote. So with that information, let's dive right into the video. The footage seems to have been recorded in a room in Seth's house, which looks normal enough, but a little over one minute in the footage, something strange happens. Take a look. Then, a little while later in the night, we watch footage that was filmed in the same spot as earlier, and yet again, something weird happens. Have a look and see. Again, an object can be seen tumbling down the staircase, but as you can see, it seems like nobody's at the top of the stairs to push this object down, so who or what is doing this? But if that wasn't creepy enough, take a look at what happens next. Seth is completely in the dark as to what happened in this video, and even though it was uploaded to the platform 12 years ago, 
there have not been any answers. Let's hope that one day that changes. Over on the popular Ghost subreddit, a user by the name of Shadow12 posted a video that he says was filmed within his house the year before. He says that in the video he captured something terrifying and it still freaks him out to this day. So let's take a look and see what happens. Sometimes with a video like this, a lot of people would expect there to be a major incident like objects flying around the room. But the fact that this video simply depicts an eerie picture frame moving by itself is more than enough to give you the chills. Some commenters suggest that perhaps it could have just been somebody stomping around upstairs, causing the frame to wiggle around. But the uploader insists that there wasn't anybody above him at the time. He also states that even if somebody was upstairs, stomping around, it wouldn't have enough force to make this frame wobble. He goes on to say that he has even more videos related to the paranormal, but he has yet to upload them. Gratefully though, the uploader says that he no longer lives in this house, so we can only hope that his new house is ghost free and he's living in peace. YouTube channel Truth and Life Paranormal published a video to their page on January 29th, 2019, in which they explored a supposedly haunted location known as the Whaley House, which is located in San Diego, California, and is widely known for how creepy it is to explore. In this video, we can see the camera crew setting up various different cameras in certain sections of rooms throughout the house in the hopes of capturing something on camera. In one way, they certainly succeeded as they begin to hear noises that creep them out. Have a listen for yourself. As the cameras roll, a wide variety of noises can be heard, which are allegedly coming from paranormal spirits within the house. Among these noises are strange whistling noises and the sound of a ghostly presence walking above the roof right above where the cameras are. What do you think was the cause of the noises that were heard in the Whaley house? Considering the fact that the Whaley house is located in the middle of a town and surrounded by other houses, it could have been someone from outside the house simply pranking the paranormal investigators. But since this place is known to be haunted, it wouldn't be surprising if what they heard truly was something supernatural. A Reddit user named CrazyChris22 published this video over on the aforementioned Sir Spook subreddit. Even though the video is only 35 seconds in length, it is definitely short but sweet. At the beginning of the clip, Chris is sitting in his room pointing his camera at his bedroom door, when he suddenly asks out loud if there's anyone in here, 
open that door. As you can probably expect, this causes something quite interesting, but equally creepy to happen. Take a look. I'm sitting on my bed. Watch this. If there's anyone in here, open that door. If there's anyone in this room, open that door. Try harder than that. Sure enough, it only takes a few seconds for the bedroom door to slowly start to open, seemingly all by itself. Then, Chris repeats the exact same phrase, and it seems as though the spirit in his house heard his command loud and clear. I'm sitting on my bed. Watch this. If there's anyone in here, open that door. Try harder than that. This definitely seems like something that could happen, as it is not overly crazy, but merely a ghostly presence opening the man's door. That doesn't make it any less hair-raising though. The door opening could have been caused by an open window, or some sort of a string off-camera. But it definitely seems quite genuine. What do you think? Is this real, or is it just a hoax? Be sure to leave your thoughts in the comments below. On March 15th, 2015, a woman named Shahira uploaded a video on YouTube titled Doll Moving My Chair, in which she explains that ever since moving into their new house, they noticed some strange things happening with their daughter's toys, and especially their daughter's doll. Her daughter would tell her that she saw the doll moving and somehow even move across the floor. Therefore, Shahira decided to film the doll. And there was one time, that's why I started listening to her, that I could have swore once I came into the room, it moved. And I'm going to do a close-up of what this doll actually looks like. And it's kind of old, where I have nothing really precious or special about it, but it just has this feeling about it. And I'm just going to sit here on my steps and record it and see if maybe she'll do something for us. And I'm just sit here and watch her a little bit, and I don't know, I, maybe it's with all these orbs that's here or something, I don't know how true that is, but it's definitely something with this one particular doll. Ooh, look at these orbs. Wait, 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 whoa, the chair is moving. Whoa. Okay. Are you seeing this? This is some freaky shit. Oh, I'm about to run. What the hell? Ah, shit! Whoa, what the f- It's quite creepy to imagine that this doll could cause an entire chair to move. And if this is what's truly happening, then they're gonna have a hard time adapting to their new house. The only way I can explain how they'd possibly hoax this video is that someone was hiding behind the chair and moving it but I'm not sure if they'd be able to make the footrest move as well. Whatever the case, it's a creepy clip that further strengthens the fact that dolls are still scary. This video uploaded to YouTube by a Swedish group of friends on December 30th, 2012, takes place in the exact same abandoned hospital as the one on the number 10 spot on this list, which certainly makes this all the more creepy. As the young group of friends work their way around the building, they soon begin to get freaked out. At a little over one minute in, they hear this chilling sound out of nowhere and spot something that makes them run for their life and out of the building. Take a look and see. <laughs> Wow. 
It seems as if they may have captured a shadow person on camera. Let's try and take another look zoomed in and slowed down. It's hard to tell what's going on here, but it certainly seems like there's something moving around in the darkness. This place surely seems like it's a popular place for paranormal investigators to go explore. But both this video and the other one before it show that something scary is living inside. There would absolutely be nothing more creepy than realizing that a paranormal entity may be lurking somewhere in your house. Whether you witness it firsthand or on video camera. This video published to the ghost subreddit by the user Blin11 showcases footage from the uploader's home surveillance camera positioned in the living room. For the first little while, everything seems perfectly normal in this seemingly average house, but it doesn't take long for this average home to be something much more sinister. Have a look at this. The upload of the video went on to explain by stating, My roommate and I work different shifts at different jobs. Me 8 to 4 and him 11 to 8. He told me that when he is getting ready in the morning, he hears a door opening and shutting. We have been assuming that it's just a neighbor. I don't usually arm the cameras until after he leaves, but he is on vacation so they are on from when I leave to when I get home now. I guess he wasn't just hearing things. Any explanations for this?" End quote. This is definitely an interesting piece of footage that will leave you with a ton of questions, but not too many answers, unfortunately. It seems as though the door in this house is opening all by itself, but how? Is it simply a hoax, made in the hopes get views online? Or is this evidence of a paranormal entity roaming throughout this Reddit user's home? Let me know in the comments below. YouTuber C said you uncut posted a video to his channel on May 30th, 2021, where he says in the description that he was out riding a quad with his friend in Lake Sisladopsis, Maine, filming the day as it went along. But it wasn't until they both got home and watched the footage back that they noticed they may not have been alone that day. For the majority of the video, nothing harmful seems to be going on as the uploader and his friend can be heard laughing and telling stories with one another, driving around in the woods on a hot summer day. However, as you would probably expect, something else also occurred that day. Take a look. Hey, you like Norm MacDonald? Yeah, dude. The uploader pans his camera to where his friend is sitting, and it's at that moment where we can make out what appears to be a tall black creature walking quickly or running through the woods before disappearing entirely. When the uploader and his friend got home, I'm sure they got the scare of their lives when they noticed that they most definitely were not alone that day. CZU Uncut says that he thinks there could be two possible explanations. One is that it's nothing more than a bear. But some people in the comments have pointed out that that is quite unlikely, seeing as how the figure in the video was seemingly standing up on its legs and walking relatively quickly through the forest. Explanation 2 is that this is none other than the elusive Sasquatch, 
which definitely seems to be the more likely answer of the two, due to the figure's strange, tall appearance and the way it walks. But obviously, this could also just be a hoax. I'll leave it up for you guys to decide. A man on YouTube named A. Howie uploaded a chilling video to his channel on August 6, 2021, that focuses on him exploring a forest nearby to document for his viewers, following suit with the rest of the content he publishes on a frequent basis. For the first little while of this video, all seems to be going relatively smoothly as Howie works his way around the woods with a flashlight equipped in his hand to help him see where he's going in the cold, dark night. However, it doesn't take long at all for things to take a seriously sinister turn. At about the two and a half minute mark, Howie is able to record something truly horrifying that scares the daylights out of him. Hey, you're gonna get away from my house, okay? You're gonna get away from my house. It's obvious that the audio here is out of sync with the footage, but you can audibly hear Howie panicking and trying his best to run away from whatever that strange figure was, peering its head at the man from behind a tree. As for what that particular creature is, we have no idea and neither does Howie. Judging by the looks of things, it seems like some sort of strange humanoid entity, but anything is possible. What do you think he managed to capture on camera that day? Was this some sort of strange humanoid creature? Was it just a person? Or was this whole thing just a hoax to get some views? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. On the Sir Spook subreddit, a user by the name of Edward Swisserscare shared a video from the popular social media service TikTok which seems to display some fairly unsettling content. The video was created by the TikTok user Holly Armstrong 20. It's usually an app filled with funny and entertaining videos, but this one is much darker in nature. Take a look at the video that this TikTok user filmed and see what they captured on camera. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my f This video is pretty hard to explain. Dolls are typically considered to be innocent toys that millions of children all around the world like to play with, to have a friend. So the fact that this particular doll is moving all by itself raises many questions. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my f Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my f It is still unclear to this day how this doll was moving in the closet, seemingly all by itself, but we can only hope that the original uploader of this TikTok video got to the bottom of things and either got rid of the haunted doll or moved out entirely. Dead Zone 43 shared the following creepy video over on my very own subreddit Sir Spooks which is an excellent spot for all things related to horror and the paranormal. There you can share videos of your own or watch videos submitted by the community. The original uploader of this video gives a little bit of context, saying, quote, When I was in the US Army, we were on training exercises in Bemowo Piski, Poland, for a couple of months. On post, we pulled 24-hour shifts to secure and maintain order at headquarters, end quote. He then goes on to say that on the government cameras he was able to access, they picked up something scary walking across the yard. Let's take a look and see what it is. And the ghost is back. Oh, and he fades. Holy f And the ghost is back. Oh, and he fades. If this footage is faked or altered in any way, then whoever messed around with it did a terrific job at making it look this convincing. 
the way the figure, which looks like a human for a few seconds, suddenly fades out of existence is undoubtedly eerie. And the man filming the security camera sounded genuinely shocked and fearful when he notices what unfolded on the tape. The uploader goes on to say that he and his roommate heard unexplainable running sounds in the attic in addition to this footage. So it begs the question, what was this figure and what was it doing out there? Is that really a ghost wandering around and then disappearing without a trace? Is this just a brilliant hoax or is it a camera glitch? Be sure to let me know your ideas in the comments. A Ghost is a volunteer paranormal research organization focused on providing education, training and community outreach through scientific investigation, data collection and analysis. They state that their goal is to help those who may be experiencing a haunting and wish to learn more about the phenomenon. They also operate a YouTube channel where they occasionally upload clips of their various different investigations. And as you will soon see for yourself, they can be pretty freaky. In this particular investigation, the crew behind a ghost is going to the Homestead Restaurant, located in West Seattle, Washington. Cameras at the ready, making sure that they don't miss out on anything creepy. It also seemingly doesn't take long at all for the crew members to film something creepy. Look at the doorway right here and see the terrifying thing that they were able to capture. Sadly, the video ends shortly after this, so we don't know full-length details as to what happened next as a part of this investigation, but this piece of footage may be enough to help prove the existence of paranormal entities. What do you think? Be sure to let me know your thoughts. This next entry covers a series of three different video published to a TikTok account going by the username Our Haunted House. The first video shows footage from a camera that was set up in a certain room in this allegedly haunted house filming a doorway, which seems innocent enough. But in just a second, we are about to see that this video is anything but innocent or normal. Open the, door. the door scene in the video randomly opens all by itself, causing the uploader to ask from out of view, did somebody open the door? Where he is met with no response, freaking him out even more. A second video shows the uploader talking to the camera, recapping the various creepy paranormal encounters he has had while living in this house, showing that a picture has fallen to the ground all by itself despite there not being a window open nearby whatsoever. He then walks into a nearby room to do some further investigation, which is when this happens. Okay guys, so a lot of crazy shit has been going down in this house. Some paranormal shit. So, first of all... So this picture fell down, and I know what you're gonna say, oh, it was just the wind or whatever, but coincidentally, a bunch fell down in the other room too. Let me show you. Hold up. Holy shit. The third and final video shows the uploader's dog barking at something he cannot quite see, but it's clear that his pet is definitely not too happy with whatever it is he's barking at. Naturally, the uploader proceeds to investigate in order to calm down his dog, which is when he finds something absolutely blood curdling. <laughs> Holy shit, there's somebody out there. A strange shadow figure can be seen outside the house right in front of the front door. However, when the uploader goes outside to investigate, the figure is nowhere to be found. So what is going on with this man and his house? Is it all just a hoax? 
or is it really haunted? If so, we can only hope that he's looking into moving somewhere else as soon as humanly possible. Devil's Hour Productions is a YouTube channel that is beloved by the paranormal community due to their frequent videos relating to the exploration of haunted places that the crew goes to visit and document their experiences at. In one particular upload published by them on September 18th, 2017, the crew is exploring a place known as the Monroe House. As they start to set up the cameras in the various different rooms, unsettling things already begin to transpire. Several minutes into the video, the group begins to get freaked out after an incident involving a camera and a ghost. Take a look and see. The camera in question is one that the group believes has been moved by a ghostly presence somewhere within the house. As the crew is trying to figure out what happened, they get increasingly more concerned and creeped out, understandably. What moved the camera that day? Was it staged or was it a poltergeist? Be sure to tell me in the comments. YouTube channel Navagon uploaded a video of a guy singing and another guy playing the guitar inside a room. The guy filming pans back and forth between the two musicians, but what they probably didn't expect was something strange appearing in the window behind them. A figure resembling a human can very clearly be seen in the window. As the camera pans back to the window, it's nowhere to be seen. Take a look. Okay. One, two, three, go. Okay. Let's take another look, zoomed in and slowed down. Could this be a real ghost or was it all just a hoax? It took me quite a while to find this supposed ghost in the window, but when I finally saw it, I was quite surprised and creeped out, because it's the sort of thing you just don't notice at first. Could it just be a person standing on top of an object to appear taller, or was it something far more sinister? Let me know what you guys think. For as many years as you can imagine, people from all around the world have been trying to prove the existence of ghosts. But at the end of the day, nobody has ever been able to 100% confirm that they do exist. But sometimes you watch a particular video on the internet that looks so compelling that you just can't help but feel as though ghosts have to be real. This video uploaded to YouTube by the channel Really Haunted on August 3rd, 2019 is definitely one of those videos. In the video, we view security camera footage set up within the channel owner's kitchen where his cat is sitting peacefully. After a while, the cat begins to climb the countertop 
and it's here in which something fascinating and creepy happens. Take a look. It's another one of those incidents which appears to be so simplistic when you first watch it, but oftentimes the most convincing and genuine paranormal videos on the internet are the most simplistic in nature. Sometimes all the convincing you need is something like this to be captured on camera. Also, notice the way the cat reacted as soon as it noticed the object moving. It looked genuinely surprised and scared, and I feel like if it was all a setup and the owner was off camera pulling a string, the cat would have noticed. So what do you think about this video? Is this compelling evidence that ghosts are real? Or is this all a big setup? Let me know in the comments. In this video shared over to the ghost subreddit by user Best of Us. We watch surveillance camera footage of what appears to be some sort of bar or restaurant during its closing hours, meaning nobody should be inside, whether it be an employee or customer. At first, it appears to be an ordinary piece of security camera footage with nothing of interest happening, but that all changes in a matter of seconds. In order to see what's happening, you have to look at the bottles to the left of the screen. Once you see what happens, you will be scratching your head, hungry for answers. Watch this. Watch the tequila bottle on the left. See that? Watch the tequila bottle on the left. See that? This is certainly a very bizarre video. When I first watched this, I was expecting the bottles to possibly fall over or move around on the shelf, but instead, it looks like something from behind pushed it and managed to make it explode in mid-air. As mentioned earlier, this entire incident happened while this establishment was closed, so the only person who could have faked this would be an employee. It could also be the work of a poltergeist, but who knows. Either way, this is still a strange and creepy piece of footage that will keep you guessing for a long time. See that? The video in question was uploaded by user Luax with the title of Really Creepy Sounds Coming From The Sky. Throughout the duration of the 3 minute video, we can see the uploader filming outside where we can hear some genuinely bone chilling sounds allegedly coming from the sky. Have a listen.
sounds like somebody is it's like whistles in the air really really loud 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 whistles I can't be those wires that is but I gotta keep working I gotta pick this trailer up holy moly whoa Jesus I hope this is picked up on the camera Some people have pointed out that the noise sounds like that of a train. However, the upload has debunked this theory and says that it is not the case and further confirms this by saying that if it were a train, why would the sound go on for such a prolonged period of time? Whatever the noise was, it was surely creepy and I bet that anybody in the area at the time that heard it was massively freaked out. Tell me in the comments below what you think this sound was. Humanoid Encounters is a popular subreddit that many people use to either share or watch videos relating to various different creatures such as the elusive Bigfoot, aliens, etc. One user in particular named Bird Beakman shared a video to the subreddit that is sure to chill your bones. The uploader describes that the video was filmed on his uncle's security camera outside of his house in West Virginia. He goes on to say that his uncle lives quite far off of the main road, meaning that there aren't too many people around the area, which makes the following clip all the more terrifying if it is indeed real. Take a look at the chilling video. Bird Beakman says that the video left both him and his uncle extremely frightened, which is definitely understandable. Seeing as how the uploader's uncle lives far off of any main road, it wouldn't make sense for there to be people wandering around that area late at night and in front of his house of all places. This could very well be either a mysterious figure or some sort of shadow person captured on camera. There has never been a follow-up video to this one published online, so one can only hope that the uploader and his uncle figured out what was lurking around outside his home that day. What do you think this was? Was this footage of a ghost or shadow person? Or was this simply a person cloaked by the shadows of the night? Leave all of your thoughts in the comments below. Jumping back to TikTok again, the following video was published to the platform by John Vasquez54, who says that he recorded this incident on his cousin's trail cam. He says that he captured proof that there is something out there we don't know about. Not long after the recording of the video begins, we can see a strange looking figure looming behind a deer before vanishing out of frame seconds later. The man filming sounds completely baffled by this and freaked out. What the fuck is that? That is fucking creepy. Judging by the looks of it, this figure sort of resembles that of the Flatwoods Monster a folkloric creature that resides in West Virginia. The creature allegedly first appeared on the night of September 12, 1952, after a reported sighting of a bright object flying over the sky. What do you think was captured on this trail cam that night? Was it none other than the Flatwoods Monster, or was it something else? Be sure to leave all of your thoughts in the comment section below. 
On January 1st, YouTuber Zach McGlone captured something terrifying while shooting a video out in a dark forest at his farm in Australia. The video cuts in in the middle of the action, as someone can be heard yelling stop multiple times in a row. And then, this happens. Wait, did you say that? Let's watch this one more time, but with the footage enhanced. Sam believes that he saw a Yaoi on this particular night. A Yaoi is an Australian cryptid that is believed to live in the outback. It is described as a hairy and ape-like creature and is anywhere between 2.1 meters and 3.6 meters tall. Many people compare to that of the elusive Bigfoot. By all accounts, the figure spotted by Sam seems to match up with people's descriptions of Yaoi sightings fairly well, except for its height perhaps, which doesn't seem to be quite as tall as some people describe it as. So what do you guys think? Did Sam McClone truly catch a Yaoi on camera? Or was this all just one big hoax? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Over on the Sir Spook subreddit, user Nando Perez uploaded a video of an extremely bizarre Zoom class call. Zoom is a place for millions of people to hold meetings with colleagues. Teachers can teach their students there and many more. Capturing creepy events is typically not something people do on the app. With the exception of this video, take a look at the creepy footage. Soy solo, estoy con mi perro. De cualquier materia, es decir, eh, si nosotros estamos estudiando eh, tanto el movimiento no existe, relacionado con lo que dice Raúl, el gato de no me no me suena la eh, tanto el movimiento no existe. It appears as though the ghostly face peering in at the man from the start captured his attention, because he eventually tilts his camera in the exact same spot where the figure was just moments earlier. Just when the man thinks that there is nobody there and starts to resume his call, the figure can be seen again crawling on the floor and moving around for a few seconds, disappearing and reappearing numerous times. It is entirely possible that this could be a home intruder lurking around his house, but it could also be that of a ghost or some sort of entity. Regardless of whether or not this figure is a person or a spirit, this is certainly something that you would not want to see roaming around your house. Do you think that this is a person or a ghost? Is this even a real video or is it all fake? Be sure to tell me your opinion in the comments. Angel Martinez posted this video to her YouTube channel in June of 2021 and starts off simple enough. Angel and her friend are driving around late at night in what seems to be some sort of dark and untraveled area at this time of night. However, their typical nightly drive is interrupted when they start to notice something strange, not too far off in the distance. Upon close inspection, they start to realize that they are not the only ones out on the road after all. Take a look. Right there. There's more? I see you. Can't run away. What the f***? That's it right there, huh? Mm -hmm. What is that? It's fucking scary. In the middle of nowhere. How f***ing weird. How f***ing weird is that? 
Whoa. Although it can definitely be a bit difficult to see because of how dark it was at the time of the recording, if you look hard enough, you can definitely make out what appears to be some sort of tall, lanky figure roaming around outside, leading Angel to believe that she saw a skinwalker that night. Of course, everything is up to personal interpretation, but the description doesn't seem too far off from what a skinwalker looks like. However, we live in a day and age where it becomes easier to fake videos, so what do you think? Is this genuine footage of a skinwalker roaming around late at night? Or is this just a fake? I'll let you be the judge. The Paranormies are a popular YouTube channel that sees the titular paranormal investigative group heading out to various different places that are said to be haunted. In this particular video that was uploaded in November of 2021, the Paranormies head out to a house that is, you guessed it, supposedly haunted. When they take a stroll through the interior, it is abundantly clear that the place has seen better days, and the sheer lack of sound alone would make most people who dare venture inside change their minds instantly. But not the Paranormies. At around the 6 minute mark, one of the crew members notices something rather disturbing in an adjacent room. What's that? It's a f dead bird. You never say anything about like birds and stuff being in here. That's gross. Pick it up. I don't want to touch it. It's in toilet paper. Well, can we like sweep it up or something? It's fucking... That's disgusting. How did that get in? I don't know. Is that the window? Unless it gets into the basement? Maybe. Later on, the group heads upstairs to conduct their investigation a bit further, which is when they hear something that practically freezes them in complete shock and awe. What was that? You heard something? What was that? You heard something? You heard something? About 15 minutes later, they decide to set up a laser grid device to help see if there's anything malevolent in the room, as well as an EVP device. The results that they get is nothing short of chilling. Even when I said, like, here, it did RAC, am I okay? Like, thank you. It's like, I don't need you to. T1. What? Oh, oh, shut up. A shadow. Really? Rachel, are you right here? from here, from here, this way, like over this way or that way. Oh God, that was me. I had no idea what Johnny saw. He was standing in the kitchen, I was standing on the landing, and we were just talking about our Ouija board results, and he just took off like a bat out of hell at something in the living room. Yeah. And even halfway through Rachel, but it would stop yeah. like between the letters. Even when I said, okay, it did RAC, am I okay? Like, thank you. It's like, I don't need you to. T1. What? Oh, oh, oh. At this point, things are definitely starting to escalate for the group, but nevertheless, they decide to press on and move down to the basement, which proves to be just as creepy if not creepier than the upstairs floor. It doesn't take long for them to hear some strange noises once again, as well as notice a bit of bizarre activity coming from the Rampart devices that they set up in the area. Take a look. You heard that. Periodical. What does that mean? Periodical? You Is heard that? that? One? Is there something from the room? It's like a little tap. Like a... You heard that. Footsteps, Footsteps upstairs? I heard it. Rampod? 
And then another one. Just about a minute later, one of the men, Johnny, begins to hear mysterious tapping-like noise coming from the kitchen while using a Ouija board. When he goes to investigate, something truly eerie happens. Thankfully after this, the Paranormies decide to call it a day and end the investigation, which was probably the wisest decision that they made that day. Who knows what dangers would have awaited them if they decided to stay even a few minutes longer. Some people went to Gettysburg and at sunset they heard fife and drum music at a wheat field. In the description they said, quote, Other than the occasional passing car, we were alone. We followed the intermittent sounds, but could not find anyone nor locate the source of the music, always ahead of us." End quote. The video is almost 13 minutes long and the music can be heard throughout, but not once do they locate the source of the sound. the drummer to see anything I've been it for five minutes I don't see anything I mean we wouldn't be the first ones who've heard drums here when there's no but no people here but it's hard for me to believe I'm actually hearing it Was someone sitting in the dark playing music, or was it the ghost of the Battle of Gettysburg? If they really are the ghost of the battle, then they've been roaming this area since 1863. It's a spooky and mysterious video that really makes you think. This next video was uploaded by South Korean YouTuber Dduk Mikul and follows him as he explores an extremely rundown and terrifying area that showcases just how brave and also dangerous he likes to live. He enters an abandoned house that is located in the area and it doesn't take long at all for him to start experiencing just how eerie this particular house is. At around the 3 minute mark, this can be heard.
What do you say? Not even a full minute later, while looking at a window in a different area of the house, you can see something absolutely horrifying just outside that will surely cause you to lose some sleep tonight. Oh, oh. Well. Do. Oh, do say. Jump on About a minute later, the uploader is checking a room and finds some bed covers that he's about to pull off, just to make sure there's nobody hiding underneath them. Sure enough, this happens. Thankfully, the uploader then makes it his number one goal to race outside as fast as he can to get away from the horrors of this house and manages to make it out in one piece. d Doc McCall is known for his abandoned building exploration videos. But one can only hope that he never ventures back to this particular place again for his own safety. On May 3rd, 2015, a YouTuber named Phil Cock published a video to his YouTube channel where he ventures out to an abandoned haunted house at an undisclosed location to have a look inside and documents the process for his subscribers to watch and enjoy. Before Phil enters the building, he does look genuinely worried and a little bit anxious, which is interesting to note considering he does these kinds of videos on a frequent basis. Nevertheless, he musters up the courage and bravery to go inside. Once he enters, he reaches a staircase and asks if there's anybody inside. He probably wasn't expecting this to happen. Hello, anybody in here? Anybody in here? As creepy as that strange voice calling out hello to Phil was, that was definitely not the scariest thing that happened to him during this particular day. He goes outside and enters the house through another entryway, which is when he points his camera at what appears to be the inside of the living room. It doesn't take long at all for something truly creepy to happen to Phil. Anybody in here? Hello? Anybody at home? Anybody? Huh? <gasps> Shit! After this happens, Phil makes a speedy exit from the area, which is definitely understandable. Despite the fact that he uploads plenty of content related to the paranormal and abandoned building explorations, it doesn't seem as though he has ever revisited this location after this initial upload. So we may never know what happened inside this abandoned house that day. Anybody at home? Anybody? <gasps> What seems like a video of an average man laying down on his bed, perhaps relaxing or taking a nap, quickly turns into something hair raising and chilling. Take a look at this. Hicimos grabar ahorita porque se está escuchando algo en el closet. Dios mío, ¿qué es eso? Hay alguien ahí, ¿quieres algo? ¿Qué es eso? ¿Qué es eso? No inventes, ¿qué es eso? ¿Qué se se abrió? Se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió, se abrió. Espérate, cálmate, cálmate, cálmate. ¿Hay alguien ahí? ¿Te podemos ayudar? ¿Necesitas algo? Dinos, dinos. ¡Sí, se asomó alguien! alguien! ¡Alúzame, alúzame, alúzame! ¡Espera! 
Espérate, alúzame. No hay nada, mira, no hay nada, no hay nada. At first, it seems as though a strange clicking or tapping sound is coming from inside the closet, which is definitely something that you would be concerned over. However, if that wasn't creepy enough, the closet door opening all by itself in the middle of your room would scare you silly. And the creepy figure inside the closet is terrifying enough to want any sane person to move out of their house immediately. We can only hope that Luan and his loved ones are safe and have gotten answers after this video was published. After all, your home is said to be the safest place in the world. But videos like these further prove that anything could happen to you, regardless of where you are. A woman on TikTok with the username Arm Sam, I guess uploaded a total of four videos recently that showcase some seriously creepy activity happening. In the first video, we see the uploader roaming around a dark and eerie room. Other than its atmosphere though, it doesn't appear to be anything too extreme. However, something happens shortly after that freaks the upload out. In the second video, she explains that she was in the room earlier, saying that the lights aren't working at the moment, which is why it's so dark inside. She also shows a small pumpkin shaped object and says it fell to the floor beforehand. However, while filming, something incredibly strange captures her full attention, leaving her totally speechless. This is the dry room where we keep the food and stuff, and like the carts have like fudge on them or whatever. Um, I don't know why that thing fell earlier. I'm really... Unfortunately for the uploader, it seems as though the terror also follows her home, considering the events of the video that you are about to watch. At the start of the video, she says that she has been hearing tapping noises coming from somewhere inside her house. She then proceeds to walk into the living room, where she asks her family if they have been making the strange noises, at which point they tell her that they thought she was the one making the noises. She then walks into the bathroom and discovers that it seems to be coming from the shower. Are you guys tapping on something out here? No, I thought that was you. Oh, yeah. Wait, shh, shh, shh. Where is it? The shower? What the hell? The fourth and final video shows the TikToker sitting on the stairs talking to the spirit that may or may not be living in her house. Quote, so since you like to slam doors in this house, do you think you could do it now? Unquote, she asks. A couple of seconds go by with complete silence, and then... Do you think you could do it now? No way. One thing that's evident from watching this uploader's videos is that she's definitely living with some sort of strange spirit, but whether or not it is harmful or just eerie is anybody's guess. Let's just hope that this TikToker can one day go about her life living in peace and not in fear. On October 12th, 2008, a YouTube channel uploaded a video for what appears to be security camera footage being filmed at Phoenician Library, located in New York. During the video, we can't see much due to the grainy nature of the video's quality, but once a few seconds passes by, something chilling occurs on screen. Take a look and see if you can spot it. Right 
If you missed it, look to the left of the screen. There appears to be some sort of ghostly apparition moving around for a few seconds, but it is enough to scare whoever watched the tape back afterwards. Sure, it could have been a person working there extremely late at night, but it could also be something much creepier than that. Still to this day, no explanation for this video has been released. If you were to take a quick look at Eon Jones' YouTube channel, you would find an assortment of videos relating to the popular Pokemon video game series, which is obviously nothing scary. However, there's one particular video on his channel that certainly stands out like a sore thumb, for being absolutely terrifying. In the description of the video, Eon provides a little bit of context, writing, quote, I was exploring an abandoned nursing home. In the first video, I was just trying to be creepy and posted to TikTok before I realized I actually got something. The second video, I returned with a friend of mine because I wanted to have someone there to share the proof. We weren't prepared to handle what was going to happen." End quote. So now, with all that context out of the way, let's take a look and see what Eon was able to record that day. As Eon walks down the dark and deserted corridor of the abandoned nursing home, a figure appears at the end of the corridor. Whether it's a threat or not is anybody's guess. In the second video that Eon took while in the nursing home, he's walking around the building with his friend, trying to film proof of paranormal activity within the area, and sure enough, he gets exactly what he wished for. Have a listen. Whatever it is, I'm just... <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, there's nothing there. Hey, let's go. All right. I know I saw something, and I know I'm not fucking crazy. <laughs> An extremely chilling, demon-like scream can be heard coming from somewhere within the building. But obviously, as soon as the two friends hear this, they try their best to run as fast as they can away from the area to make it out of there alive. Thankfully, they do, but it still doesn't make this piece of footage any less terrifying. What was making that guttural scream? And what was that figure in the first video? These are questions that will never be answered. Evox on Twitter recently tagged me in a tweet that went a bit viral. He said that the CCTV footage was caught on the security cameras of a store near his house. His grandma used to own the building, so when the new owner saw the video, he immediately sent it to them. Evix also stated that it couldn't be outside lights, because there's no windows in the room. After tagging me, I decided to contact him privately. He gave me the following information, quote, Also, the original owners kept their kids' toys in a storage area that used to exist under the stairs. And according to my grandma who bought it from the original owners, they sold it because their child passed away and they wanted a fresh start. The way it leaps over the staircase and seems to go under the stairs makes me think Maybe it's the ghost of the kid, and he's looking for something to play with." End quote. From the information gathered, it would seem like this could possibly be the ghost of a child. It's certainly a compelling piece of footage, and going by the replies to this tweet, it would seem that many others believe this to be a real ghost sighting. What do you guys think? The Paranormies are a fast-growing YouTube channel that frequently uploads videos depicting abandoned building explorations as well as general paranormal investigations, all of them being highly unique and terrifying in nature. The backstory behind this investigation goes as follows. Richard inherited his grandparents' house after they passed away. After some time in the house, he began hearing noises coming from the attic. 
Richard decides to check the attic, thinking there could be an animal, but finds nothing except for a journal. Reading through the journal, there are descriptions of animal torture and sacrificial rituals, and the murder of a man. After that, the paranormal activity in the house got worse, so he decided to set up cameras while he was gone. The following piece of footage was recorded by Richard in the middle of the night. Right from the second it starts, it certainly gives off unsettling vibes, and those uncomfortable feelings turn out to be for good reason. Look at this creepy incident that occurs involving his phone. Then, another scene is shown that was filmed in the kitchen area of Richard's house, and at first, everything seems to be completely normal and innocent. But take a good look at the water machine, and you will see that something is very amiss here. Then a different angle a few moments later shows some very creepy things happening in the kitchen. Take a look. Hard to see if anybody, hard to see who it was. Yeah, right. Um, but you also mentioned on the phone when we talked to you that there was some, there was an odor um, as well. Yeah, it almost smelled like a, a butcher shop. A butcher shop. Yeah. Um, I gotta say that some of the best paranormal footage that, that I've ever seen. Um, who do you believe wrote the journal then? I honestly have no idea. Okay. What are you hoping to find out from our investigation? Well, I'm kind of hoping that you guys are able to bring peace. A while later in the video, the paranormies are using an ovulus device in one of the bedrooms, which speaks to them, saying, Reason. Then immediately afterward, this happens. Reason. Reason? Reason. Did you have... What reason did you have? No way. Oh, holy shit. After this, they proceed to head outside to the exact spot where coordinates were given to them in a journal, fully expecting to find evidence, animal bones, or some sort of ritual, or maybe even a body. But while they are out there, they hear something truly terrifying. Something that no body would want to hear outside in a desolate area, much less at night. Watch and listen to this. It's out. What is that, firewood? Oh my god! <laughs> in a separate part 2 video, we see more footage that was filmed from Richard in what appears to be a living room, and it doesn't take long at all for things to get a little unsettling. Look at what was captured. A couple of minutes later, the paranormies are sitting down at a table for a moment, but still making sure that they are still recording. It's a good thing that they were, otherwise they would not have been able to capture this terrifying incident on camera. Okay. Oh, I freaked the shit out of me. What yeah, is now it? it's level. Now, level? Now it's starting to say stuff. That's exactly what happened, like, in his video. At the 12 minute mark in the investigation, they are finally trying to make communication with any potential spirits in the area, when the man behind the camera urges any potential spirits in the room to let us know you're here. Judging by what happens next, 
I think this spirit hurt him. Let us know you're here. Thank you. Oh, my hands are shaking. The group then conducts the investigation in other areas of the house, but are stopped short when they hear something eerie coming from the upstairs area. Listen to this. It does, it sounds like somebody else is in this house. Oh my god. That's loud. That's... Where is that coming from? It sounds like it's coming from behind me. Like up here. Some people wouldn't dare go upstairs after hearing a sound like that coming from the area. But the paranormies are determined to get to the bottom of this and figure out what is in this house messing with them. One of the crew members walks downstairs for a moment, carrying his Oculus device, which says something very creepy. He then asks the spirit to scream for him, and while it doesn't obey that command, it does do something else rather remarkable that definitely gives them the proof they need that they are not alone in that house. Look at this. Scream? Can you scream for me? Can you imagine? Oh, man. Whoa! Light just went on again. Oh my god. If this video is authentic and nothing about it was staged in any way, then I must say that the Paranormies video is definitely creepy and is amazing proof of the existence of the paranormal. Home videos from back when your sons or daughters were just little kids can, for most families, be some of the most precious videos in the world because you're able to essentially go through a virtual time machine and see life as it was for you and your family years in the past. In short, a home video of your kids is often a video you cherish, and upon first glance, this video of a young boy dancing along to a song by the rock band Green Day is exactly that too, an innocent and cute video. But this home video soon takes an incredibly sinister and unsettling turn. Dan! Dan, look at Elijah, go like this. Elijah, hey, like this. Elijah, look it, hey. Elijah, go like this. Were you dancing to uh, some Green Day? Yeah. Dance, go. The dancing boy turns around after a few moments, and it's then when he starts to look at something, this something strangely resembling that of another young boy. But if you look carefully, you can tell for certain that it's not a reflection from a mirror or anything like that, but rather a completely different child. In my opinion, this is one of the most unexplainable and creepy pieces of paranormal footage out there because it begs the question, if this is not paranormal in nature, then what else could it possibly be? I don't think we will ever get the answer. A man named Chris runs a YouTube channel called Urbex Hill, which is a great spot for those who love to watch urban exploration style videos. This video of his published in August of 2021 is certainly no different. In the video, Chris is exploring a haunted abandoned historic temple that was built all the way back in 1905, its original purpose being an old telephone company. Throughout the decades, it changed to many different places, including a women's club, but was eventually turned into a Masonic temple in 1985. However, the building was left abandoned in the year 2000, after Freemasons decided to go elsewhere. Ever since then, it has been untouched. The nearly 20 minute video is packed full of creepy bits and is sure to satisfy those who love urban exploration videos. But without a doubt the most unsettling moment comes about midway through the footage, 
when Chris walks into a massive room that seems to be completely empty. Except it isn't. It's really sad that they let this historical place fall apart like this. Damn, man. That's crazy. It may be hard to see when initially viewed, but when the clip is slowed down and the brightness is adjusted, you can see what appears to be a dark shadow walk inside a room before disappearing entirely. Chris states that while he was filming in that room, he thought he saw something move out of the corner of his eye, but wasn't entirely sure because of how dark it was in the room. When he reviewed the clip later on, however, all of his worst suspicions were proven to be true. What do you think this dark figure is and what were its intentions? Is it really an entity or is it just a trick somehow? Be sure to let me know all your ideas in the comments below. Amy's Crypt is one of the most popular channels on YouTube when it comes to videos relating to the paranormal and horror in general. Her channel is loaded with great authentic content that I highly recommend you check out, ranging from unexplained mysteries, creepy rituals, abandoned building explorations, and plenty more to keep you entertained. In one particular video uploaded to Amy's channel on October 25th, 2020, she ventures out to an old haunted church which appears to be run down and where many have claimed to have experienced paranormal activity. The video in question is over 40 minutes long and is jam-packed with tons of creepy content for you all to enjoy. But one of the creepiest moments happens at around the 27 minute mark when Amy sits down in a certain area of the church and hears strange noises that frighten her. Take a look. Did somebody say Tom earlier? Oh sh**, what was that? Uh... What just happened? Oh sh**, what was that? Oh sh**, what was that? Oh my god! What happened? Did the light just go off? Um, turn it off. Is there somebody down there? Something balancing or something like that? Uh, what the heck? Something balancing or something like that? Then, just a couple of minutes later, Amy proceeds to another room in the church and begins to sit down for a little bit. But they seemingly can find peace even when taking a breather, because something odd gains their attention. Look at this. I don't know. Let me come around that side so people can see. So this is Amy's well, look, box that... that it's not puts. like a floppy thing, like, I actually need to... And the cable's gone off now. It's at moving. It moved. Am I making it? You can blame faulty batteries or electronics within the ball, but that seems like reaching for answers at that point. Of course, it is entirely possible, but ruling out the paranormal doesn't seem fair. Regardless, Amy's video has plenty of moments that are sure to give you the creeps. Over on the backwards creepy subreddit, Users can find a wide variety of terrifying videos taking place in the wilderness. This particular video was recorded by Throat Sing King, who was out in the woods one day when he recorded this footage. In it, we watch him as he sings outside, practicing his vocals, when right from the beginning, we can see a dark figure standing far in the distance. Take a look and see. Pretty sure he was looking for where the sound was coming from, but I stopped and started talking and I was confused. 
but as soon as the man starts to sing, things get incredibly strange. Little did he know that towards the end of the footage, he ended up recording something truly terrifying that's sure to chill his bones when he goes back to review the footage later on. Alright. A bizarre humanoid type figure can be seen in the distance, causing many commenters to be confused and creeped out by the frightening discovery. There are even a few skeptics in the comments who are having a difficult time explaining the figure away at the end of the video. So what do you think this figure is in Throat Sing King's video? Do you think this is a humanoid entity? Is it just a person? Be sure to let me know your thoughts on this entity in the comment section down below. The final spot on today's list comes from the popular reddit thread, Paranormal Reddit, where users can upload videos relating to the paranormal, usually looking for answers. User Lazy Ray Scallion published a video on the community where he explains that the footage is security camera footage of a conference room, and that it was sent to him by a family member. The video is extremely short, clocking in at just 10 seconds in length, but 10 seconds is more than enough to send a shiver down your spine. Take a look and see if you can spot what is so creepy about this video. In case you missed it, in the background, we can see a black shadowy figure walking around and then disappearing shortly after, almost like it wasn't even there. Zooming in and slowing down the footage doesn't really make it easier to come up with a good explanation. It could very well be achieved with the help of visual effects or camera trickery, but it's hard to be certain. It is still unknown to this day what the conference room footage captured, but whatever it is, it is definitely a scary piece of footage. TikTok user Mafia300C uploaded a series of three different videos from varying angles to their account on August 28th, 2022. That seems to showcase something legitimately unnerving in an office building window directly in front of him. The uploader can be seen filming an office building in front of him, which looks to be normal enough. Some of the lights are on, seemingly suggesting that people are still inside working. But as normal as this building may look, there's something genuinely eerie about it that the uploader is about to witness firsthand in just a moment and will surely scare him for the rest of his life. Take a look. Alright, can, can you see this thing? Yeah, it's still there. Okay. What's happening with the lights? Because I'm, dude, I'm looking at the, the, the lights the are, hallway and the, I can't see, like, I literally see nothing. The lights are off right now. Oh, it just moved. It just moved. No, it did not. It just moved. It just moved. Okay. I just heard a weird fucking noise. Please don't tell me that as you said that. Dude, it just moved. There is clearly something quite odd that appears in the office building window that the uploaders freaked out by, and understandably so. Take a look at the other videos to see what else was captured. Don't judge me. Security! I just want to talk. Security! I love this building. This building's so cool. Did you throw that? Throw what, dude? I just heard something. Something, something just threw across the room. What? Dude, I something just. I'm, I'm, I'm outside the door. I don't have access to that unit. Oh, don't I don't even that. think I got it on video. My, my phone was just angled up, but something just got thrown at the window. Security! Please open the door. I know you're in there. Something just got thrown again. No way, dude. I'm out. I'll be down in a minute. Does anything look broken? Like glass? Uh, Security, I know you're in there. 
was that? Yeah, what was that noise? Dude, that was just behind me. Was that like a fire alarm or something? I No, dude, it was a squeak noise. Like something just moved behind me. I mean, what the f***, dude? What do you make of these clips? Was there some sort of spirit roaming the halls of the office building that night? If so, what did it want? Be sure to leave your theories in the comment section down below. The following stories are part of the SCP Foundation series and is simply titled Substation 9. The story in question follows an unnamed man who says that he works as a security guard at a facility during the graveyard shift, checking various substations to make sure an OCB hasn't been tripped. He says that the area is a couple thousand acres of woodlands, rivers and country roads, with the occasional warehouse in a field, and says that calling it remote would not do it justice. Sadly, he explains that the townsfolk were forced to flee after a colossal flood destroyed a large portion of the surrounding area. But as for his job, he explains that he does the exact same thing every single day. Check substations and pumps to make sure they're fully operational and in working order. Some of the tunnels he worked in are centuries old, and the blueprints of which have been destroyed by the devastating flood. Because of this, he says that there is an almost colloquially shared statement that nobody should go inside the basements. Don't wander, don't explore, go down, do your job and come right back up. No funny business. And one last thing, always bring a backup flashlight just in case your other one dies. Otherwise, you're screwed. The farthest anybody has ever gone in the tunnel is 500 yards, and nobody has any clue as to what lurks even further down than that. It's a complete mystery. For the next little while in this post, the uploader explores the tunnel's conditions and what it's like to be down inside them, stating that all workers must enter with an O2 monitor because they are worried about small pockets of nitrogen that can be hard to detect with the human eye. He also says that a lot of the time, the tunnel often smells horrendous. As for the whole two flashlight thing, the uploader clarifies that once the battery dies on the other, if you don't have a backup, you'll be shrouded in endless miles of darkness with no phone reception. In other words, you may die down there. This is where things start to get interesting. The uploader talks about his co-worker who he identifies as John, saying that he was a clever man and good for numbers. John kept to himself a lot of the time and was a quiet person who didn't bother anyone. One year, during a thaw, some pumps were getting overwhelmed, too much water was coming in and they simply couldn't pump it fast enough. John wanted to hook up some of these old centrifugal pumps that were sitting around in the basements. Although it was a lot of work, John stuck to his plan and hunted down every pump he could find, serviced them, hooked them up with hoses and managed to keep the substations dry all the way into late spring. A few days after things got under control, the uploader did a swap and ended up coming in during a day shift. When he arrived at the trailer, John's truck and more importantly, John himself was gone. The latest entry in the job logbook mentioned heading out to check on a sump pump in one of the substations. So without hesitation, he rallied up a bunch of fellow workers to go into the substations but they were all baffled when they couldn't find a single trace of John whatsoever, no matter how hard they looked. At one point, the uploader even called the police, but they too couldn't find him. Fast forward one year later, another co-worker named Patrice took the uploader aside and showed him something that was found during one of her rounds. A flashlight with dead batteries, tape wrapped around it with John's initials written on it. He goes on to answer some more questions about what he does for work, but one thing truly struck a chord with readers. He says, Patrice said that on at least three separate occasions, she has heard something like muffled old-timey radio music playing from below. 
Months go by, and the uploader says that a co-worker named Ed has shockingly found John's phone. Going through his photos, all look normal and familiar, except for a few places the crew simply did not recognize. Bizarrely, John's phone was found in Substation 9, but the aforementioned logbook did not state that was the substation he was checking on that day. A little later, police were called to do another investigation and sure enough, they think they found John's body. Here's where it gets really scary. The last post the uploader would ever add onto this story simply reads, it wasn't John's body. And this is the final video attached to the story, where something truly creepy can be heard. I hope you haven't been following this story at night, otherwise now you are almost certain to be in bed with the blankets pulled up over your face. Sweet dreams. Chris from the YouTube channel Urbex Hill has pretty much seen it all at this point. For years now he has posted videos to his channel that focus on him exploring some of the creepiest abandoned buildings in the world, including churches, schools, libraries and more. In this particular video, published to his channel in April of 2022, Chris ventures out to explore some mysterious tunnels that prove to be more than a bargain for. In the description of the upload, Chris writes, quote, Today I explored a mysterious tunnel and saw something strange. I took on one of the most dangerous explorations that I've ever attempted. Over the course of one whole day, I traversed more than 10 miles and a confusing and seemingly endless tunnel system hidden deep within the forest. As I entered the portal, I noticed it was oddly quiet and I began to have a strange feeling I was being watched. While I continued to explore deeper within the tunnels, I started to notice signs that I may not be alone, which led me to have one of the most terrifying encounters I've ever experienced. So with that context out of the way, let's get into it. At around the 18 minute mark, Chris is wandering around the tunnels when he suddenly pauses and looks to his right. What he sees next is absolutely pulse pounding.
two incredibly fast creatures can be seen darting from around the corner before eventually retreating back into their hiding spots. Amazingly, if Chris did indeed see these two horrifying creatures, he didn't seem to be too bothered by them. About 20 minutes later, towards the end of the video, Chris is wandering down a terrifyingly dark corridor where the only thing he can hear is the sound of water rushing underneath his feet. But in just a moment, a new sound is added to the mix. A couple of minutes later, Chris is thankfully able to make it out of the tunnels in one piece. However, despite the fact that he made it out alive, there's no denying that there was certainly something viscous and terrifying waiting for him in the tunnels. Whatever it is, it's probably best that we don't ever find out. <laughs> 